In this video, I want to talk about ulnar collateral ligament injuries of the elbow. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education and information and commentary on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, when we talk about ulnar collateral ligament injuries of the elbow, or UCL injuries, the shorthand term, most people don't know that term, but they know the term Tommy John surgery, or Tommy John injury. That's what we're talking about here. Now, this is really a bigger discussion, so I'm gonna break it up into two videos. In this one, we're gonna talk about the injury. In the next one, we're gonna talk about what Tommy John surgery entails and how you can recover from it. But let's talk about UCL injuries of the elbow. This is an injury of the ligament on the inside of your elbow, the side closest to the midline, that stabilizes the elbow against what we call valgus stress, your arm going out like that. And there's a lot of valgus stress on the elbow as you go through the pitching motion. That's why you see these and hear about these injuries in baseball pitchers. But there is valgus stress with other overhand sports motions. Tennis serves, volleyball spikes, football quarterbacks throwing a football, javelin throwers, UCL injuries were actually first described not in baseball pitchers, but in javelin throwers way back, I think, in 1928, long, long time ago. But this is much, much more common in baseball pitchers, really, than other athletes, really, of any sport. Now, occasionally, this can be a traumatic rupture, meaning one throw and it pops, that ligament tears. That's not typically what happens though. This is an injury that typically happens over time. Gradually that ligament starts to fray. This is very much like a rope that gradually frays until it finally breaks. So typically baseball pitchers develop symptoms over time, over three, four, six months or longer, sometimes several seasons. And what they'll typically notice is a vague discomfort on the inside of their elbow when they're pitching. Maybe they or you will notice a drop in your velocity, or maybe you can't locate the pitch and hit the spots you're trying to hit as well as you want to hit them. Your performance gradually suffers over time, and you maybe it finally pops and gives, but maybe it's just hurting and you can't do what you want to do on the mound as well as you want, so you get it checked out. Now that injury is something that a lot of times by physical exam we can do some tests that will recreate your symptoms and demonstrate that that elbow maybe opens up a little bit more than it normally does. And then there are ways to look, you know, tests basically that will make the diagnosis. An MRI can help. A better test is what's called an MR arthrogram where the radiologists inject a little bit of contrast into your elbow to better show the ligament and show any fluid that passes through it. So that can tell maybe the difference between a partial tear and a complete tear. So that's a good test, but that's hard to do in pro athletes during the season because now you got this big swollen elbow. But MRI or MR arthrogram can really make the diagnosis. Now, if it's a complete tear, it's really hard to pitch or do those overhead activities as well as you want to do it. So especially for high level baseball pitchers, we usually talk about surgery to get back to what you want to do. And we'll talk about that again in an upcoming video. But if you're not a baseball pitcher, you know, you may not need surgery. We hear of NBA players and NFL players that have this injury and they don't ultimately have surgery and they do great. So unless you're a high level baseball pitcher, you know, like elite high school, uh, college, pro, and you know, you may not ultimately need surgery. So it's worth seeing an orthopedic surgeon and you know, especially one that does a lot of sports medicine and talk about the options. If it's a partial UCL injury, some of those can heal without surgery. Period of rest, you know, sometimes injections of substances like PRP, platelet-rich plasma, can get it to heal, you know, physical therapy, that kind of thing. If it works, great. Get back on the mound after six weeks or 12 weeks and you can, you know, get back to the way you were. Complete tears 
typically non-surgical treatment has fairly poor success rates at getting you back to high level pitching. So you could try it, but very likely it's not going to work. And again, as we just said, if pitching's a big deal to you, then you might ultimately need to have surgery. We're gonna talk about the surgery and recovery from it in another video real soon, so look for that. But UCL injuries, very difficult injury, but worth getting checked out, especially if you're a high-level athlete. All right, have you suffered a UCL injury or ulnar collateral ligament injury of your elbow or maybe your kids? How did they do it? What did your doctor recommend? I'd love to hear your experience. So in the comments below, please describe it. So I and, and honestly, people watching this from all around the world can learn from your experience as well. Now, I'd love to hear the number one challenge that you're dealing with with your UCL injury, your frustration. In the description below, I left a link that you can basically go and write to your heart's content and tell me about that UCL injury or whatever injury it is so that I can better understand what you're dealing with and I can design content and programs that better help you get back to what you love to do. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. I record several of these videos every single week, plus I do live videos and in those live videos I answer some questions from viewers so you'll be notified about those videos when they're posted or when they're live and you can watch and learn and participate. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.